All right, what's up? Firon and Groovy back again Hello. for another match. We got QSD versus Caleb Cujo here. No surprise, QSD is opting to go Cloud instead of Falcon here. Uh, Bayonetta not particularly a horrible yeah. matchup for Falcon, but uh, Bat Within and Witch Time definitely can interfere with such a high pressure, high hit per second character like Falcon. This is definitely a battle of some of the best characters in the game right now, so. Yeah. So, this is going to be quite high impact. QSD electing to go his his tried and true cloud, his original main, well not quite original, but one of his original mains. When he came in. Uh, we'll see how he does here. I do not believe QSD has ever taken a set off of Caleb Cujo's Bayonetta. We don't want to see something that happened earlier and, oh, never mind, we're not. Um, oh, oh uh, man. That might have killed, honestly. Grounded with Rage on the platform. Yeah. He's just gonna have to be able to build that back up in time. Gets the gets the first hit of Cross Slash, but doesn't follow up in it. I don't know what he was trying to do, but uh, comes down with the fair. That's one thing about QSD. He has a very unconventional cloud. He does not do like the the, the stereotypical uh, like movements. He, yeah, he, he, he doesn't mixes it up his own way. He doesn't do a, a whole lot of the falling up airs and the and the. Uh, up air juggles. He's just kind of content to use the big sword attacks that he has at his disposal in whatever order he wants. It reminds me of a knife that, player. Yeah, you see there though that he does no cloud. He he makes sure he's making sure to get those auto cancels and those down airs. He's not throwing out these moves because he doesn't. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, it works. He's at a high percentage, so he probably won't be lasting too long. But they are definitely neck and neck right now. Yeah, I, I can't imagine QSD stock will last too much longer. Oh, yeah. Caleb Cujo, very, very afraid to go off stage against Cloud. Uh, very famously Believe. at... Very famously at a Millersville tournament called Smashville. Uh, Caleb Cujo had a more than 100% lead on a Cloud, and the Cloud killed him at 0% with the spike of Climb Hazard. And uh, that can definitely make you not want to combat that move again. Oh, witch time. Yeah, there's the witch time. Just got a lead on the percentage from I that. I imagine that oh, move alone. No, oh, no, he didn't. Took no, he jump. didn't. That's Failed recovery. Game one going to QSD. All right. That was a... Uh, that was definitely a surprise right there. A, a, a surprise indeed. QSD, nothing to sleep on. QSD is an extremely good player. Uh, in they region, both are. of course. He's not a national threat or anything. But in region, QSD is a well-respected, good player. Uh, but the Does set count own. against Caleb Cujo is extremely lopsided in Caleb's favor. I'm questioning with this map choice if he's going to be... Uh... Oh, wait a second. Uh, Caleb Cujo likes Smashville quite a bit, actually. He counterpicks uh, Town and Smashville against me because he likes the he likes the early kills off the top on Town, but uh, my character Ike also really benefits from killing early off the top. So uh, very commonly he'll counterpick me Smashville. With Bayonetta, it just means that you're going to have to travel less to get him to the top of the stage. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, that would have killed if that had hit. He that destroyed that, that balloon. Anthony, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I thought that was it too. I thought it I thought he was too. QSD, no fear in his heart. Waits that out. Oh my god. QSD fiend him to get that W over Caleb Cujo tonight. Playing extremely well. I honestly don't think Never I've ever is. seen uh, Oh. Uh, I guess the witch time on it, but unfortunately he can get QSD it back in time. Yeah, QSD wasn't quite close enough uh, to activate the witch time. Yeah. Yep. Goes out with the nair. Almost dies there. That would that, that that was the set if that had happened. Oh He's God. getting a huge percentage lead right now. Oh, that was that was a misinput. He didn't mean to roll. He meant to grab F throw. QSD even trying to read text here and everything with uh, with cross slash. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Ooh. Used his jump. Uh, Cole up a 68% lead. Uh, Caleb Cujo, obviously no slouch with uh, Bayonetta's kill combos. 
One solid opening might be all it takes to close this game out for Caleb Cujo. Yep. Takes his jump. Doesn't quite fall Ooh, for that. that Down wasn't throw. Good oh, oh, but he can grab. Oh, no. I'm not sure if he meant to pivot grab. If he did, I'm sure he was trying to run past and pivot grab. I was going to say. That was, that was almost it. Oh, my God. Half throw. Yep. Charge. Li no, no charge on limit. Yeah. Auto cancels that down air. With almost any move at this rate, he could. Oh, back, air, back air. Oh my god, that could have been it if he had gotten that grab. Up throw. No, oh, he kicks him right in the back. Up throw not quite gonna kill yet. Yep. Ran his movement there, just didn't activate on it. Oh, gets the down air. If you use this limit correctly, he could win. Oh no! Oh, he didn't. goes for oh, the finishing no. touch. Back throw. Oh, not quite gonna kill. He's but alive. It's Cloud, and he's super easy to gimp his Bayo. Oh no! Yeah, no. That's it. Oh, okay. That one, was uh, one. definitely a good, uh, a good defensive play on Kujo's part. Going to game three. That was a close fought battle. Uh, that finishing touch, which gained him so much in game one was the decider in game two as well, just not quite in the, in the way he was hoping. And he might get it in game three. So we shall see on this next match that they choose. Uh, oh, going to Dreamland. Going to Dreamland, makes Big sense. Big old trees puffing everywhere. This is my, cow, my Cloud counter pick. In the very rare occasions I play Cloud anymore. Do you play Cloud, cloud as like your... Uh, Cloud used to be my secondary, I just haven't played him in singles in so long that it barely counts anymore. I play more Falco in singles than I do Cloud. Oh, okay. I was thinking if you were just like exclusive, like you like the big swords. I mean, you're not wrong, I also play Marth. Oh, okay. So long, like, just anything that has like a lot of space to it. Falco is an oddity in my characters that I play, in that most of the other characters I enjoy are sword characters. Uh, close game once again. QSD, as you can see, is very content to just kind of let Caleb Cujo come to him. He knows that Bayonetta is extremely good at setting the pace of a match, and he is not trying to contest that. Oh. Uh, he is instead letting the fight come to him and outwitting Caleb Cujo when he does. Yeah, he, he knows he knows the range. Ooh. Oh, that that it's might be a hard be recovery. Be yep. Nope, couldn't get that one. Back air on the ledge right there. Not a kill. Definitely is taking a lead right now. Uh, he 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 likes to kind of go for these cross slash mix ups where he does like hit one two and then tries to get you with something. Uh, but it is hasn't been netting him so much in game three where Caleb Kujo is now wise to it. But these combo breaking up air is actually crazy. That was such a. Wacky up there. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, he's uh, Caleb's still got a double jump. Back he's definitely going to have to get him down. Now smash. He, he knew that down smash was coming. He's been seeing that. I, I, I've been seeing that from Cole a lot. Up throw, up B. Uh, oh, no. He's back. That was amazing, SDI. <laughs> That was that was the difference between uh, fucking game three handshake and not. Uh, oh. oh my god! That always makes me so nervous Probably seeing that. No. I can. It's a lot of effort. But Caleb is extremely good at finding that back air. And it could be your fun. <laughs> yep, up air. That's dead. Oh. But that was definitely a good A match. hard fought set. QSD, so close, yet so far. It was lovely. What a battle of titans, ladies and gentlemen. We, we are starting off this weekly good. We have had a lot of high octane, last hit, exciting sets so far, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, everything except uh, my first match. <laughs> I got, I got a little bit bodied, and uh, it was a little upsetting, hey, you but know you what? know what? It you still did your best. Thank you, I appreciate that. Would we? Uh, uh, would QSD like to have an interview, a post-set interview? Um, Alright, Groovy, if you want to mind. Oh yeah, too. Here you go, man. QSD, 
Hey guys, almost made the upset of the century, almost took out the number one seed at this tournament, Caleb Cujo, in winner's quarters, I think? No, um, I wasn't close. It, he SD'd the first yeah, game. Um, and game two? He pretty much had it under control game by two, game three. By game three. It was, was all you. Yeah. All you. Nah, man, you Caleb's just good. I mean, there's nothing else to be said about it. It's not a character thing. It's not a yeah, yeah, anything course, thing. It's just, uh, it's just who he is. He's just really good at this game, and mad respect goes out to him. All right. Well, thank you, Cole. Your respect as a sportsman is extremely admirable. I look forward to seeing how you do in bracket today. That is Furon signing off.